Hey, hey! Hi. Hello! We are on the warpath That's and we have decided to do a YouTube channel. So why? Why are we doing a YouTube why are we doing channel? It? We've been traveling for more than a year now around Australia and we're on Facebook and Insta and we have a fair few followers there who keep saying we love being on the journey with you. Why don't you guys have a YouTube channel? So we thought, stuff it. Let's let's do it. Do a few vids and see how it goes. Yep. So if you do like the episode, please subscribe, like, do some comments, let us know that you like it because we're not going to spend all this time doing it if nobody likes it. Uh, yes. So let us know and we hope you enjoy. Cool. Yep. Enjoy it. Bye. Bye. slope that way Danny's just dug out on this side and I'm just going to reverse in just to pop the tire in there and that should hopefully level us, level us out so let's see beautiful it works so it's the morning we've gotten up here and it is just like stunning here. Uh, in the afternoon, yesterday it got quite windy, so we've decided today we're going to do all our outside stuff in the morning. So we're going to flick school work until this afternoon um, and just enjoy how beautiful it is. So I'm just going to take you outside and show you. down a bit so it was blowing a gale before sand going everywhere but pretty nice now it makes it a 
a really good spot. Yeah. Good for sunset. And it's bizarre that like in the morning it's still and yeah. kicks up and then at about six o'clock and it was seriously just after dinner, absolutely mm. stunning. Yeah. So we're outside now for a beer. Cheers. We're gonna go and join all the adults over there and have a drink while the kids play. Let's go. about going. Okay, it's starting to get windy so move yeah. on to the next spot. Pretty good spot. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome spot. So I normally, yeah I'll spin you around to me, I will normally um, just check everything, make sure we haven't left anything, see that the caravan's rolling all right. the first and the 18th here so the first two holes of it are the first and the 18th of Sejuna Golf Club so Danny's up first First two holes complete. First two holes, not good for me, but good for Danny. Birdie bogey. I've got 16 to make it up, so it's all right. Yeah, we're officially on the Nullarbor now. Just left. Nullarbor. Just left Sejuna 10 minutes ago, and it's um, straight roads. Danny was saying the other day that South Australia is the driest state in Australia. And Australia is the driest continent in the world, so it's pretty dry, but we might actually get some rain, there's a few um, storm clouds around, so who knows, yep. might get a storm. And we're on our way to Penong, and so there's a windmill museum there, it's got the third hole from our direction that we'll play 
Aussies they call the windmill warriors. All the locals have gone around and found, sourced all these windmills and restored them and put them here. It's a heap of work. And that one over there, the Comet, is over 35 foot high and the biggest windmill in Australia. Little stop. Too bad. Free. Yep. Yeah. Just on the roadside. Well, not roadside, a little free camp just off the highway. Free, so all good. Beautiful out there. Very pretty. All right. Pretty. What do you reckon, Em? It's cool. Do you think it smells a bit? Yeah. What do you think it smells like? Bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it smells a little bit like rotten egg. Like not, not a really bad one. Yeah, it's the sulfur making it smell like that. If you follow us on Facebook and Insta, um, you'll see we do get some pretty awesome photos. And I can say that because when I say we, it's actually Daddy that gets all the awesome photos. Um, but basically, we'll get to a spot, we'll all have a look at it, enjoy it. And then the kids and I will chill out for a while, get them some snacks, and um, wait for Danny to go and do his work. <laughs> and most of the photos are just on our iPhone 12. Um, it's got such a good camera. So he's out there at the moment. I'm going <laughs> to show you so you can see the links that he gets to, goes to to get these awesome pics. That's him out there. Hopefully you can see him in the middle there. Let's hit the windmill. <laughs> Four! Something bit Danny and left uh, this little piece there. So we had to dig this out of his finger. Don't know if you can see that, but dug it out. Anyway, it's good to have one of these 
with your um, first aid kit, so all good. Oh yeah. Oh, two fours, well played. Good job, Hi. The, Hi. Hit a second from over by that Australia's biggest windmill. Only way to play this hole. Tattoos of memories and tears in on trial. This one was hard to find even where this hole was. Look, we had to drive in through there, bring the caravan the whole way in. And uh it'll be interesting to find our balls. Pot. Dusty. Looking for uh, Dingo's Den. A bit dusty. Yep. Dingo's Den is where the next golf hole is. I think locust plague yeah. into about a 50k breeze. It's the toughest hole in the world. Yeah. Uh, I picked up on this hole <laughs> at a gut pull. Uh, the wind is crazy. There's locusts, there's snakes. Um, and so Danny's still playing. Just went to find his and hasn't found a snake. Here you go. Get out of here. Where are we going next? Bunda Cliffs. Sounds good. About half an hour from here, I think. Get the snakes. Filling up at $1.90 a litre. It's the most expensive for a long time. Just got to do it. This scene reminds me of Terminator. I don't know which Terminator, but when she's at the petrol station and the end of the world's about to happen. Storm brewing over there. Big storm brewing. Let's get out of here. This is the road into Bunda Cliffs. There are no signs. Yep, this is where we're going, bud. There are no signs, so you have to be following it on wiki camps and slow right down before it or you'll go past. Otherwise you drive past it and you have to reverse. <laughs> we didn't have to do that, did we? Oh yeah. <laughs> we would not ever do that. We wouldn't do that. Yep. Right, let's see what we got. So there's there's a local over here who looks like he might have been here for a while uh, and he has told us to bunker down over this side because of the wind but we're only here for a night. We want to live a little. We want to see what it's like. So we've decided we're going to go out near the cliffs. Obviously, we're going to keep the kids near us, make sure that they don't run off. So um, we also met some friends. Well, we found some friends. I only just met them at the last, one of the last places we were at, at Palubi. Um, and we organized to meet them here. So they're here as well, so we can have a beer tonight. So that'll be nice. So, venture through. It's bloody rocky. Very rocky. Danny's out. Give me the instructions. My friends are just here. So we got a plot next to them. They've got a pretty good spot, but they're right behind a sand dune, so I don't think they'll be able to win. We, on the other hand, might, but you only live once, hey? Just gonna do it. We're all set up around as you can see the cliffs are over there it's our setup okay I'm gonna walk you over to the cliffs I shouldn't have worn my hat out here I'm gonna hold my hat down 
which might be. <laughs> Alright. What do we got? Okay, well that's a cliff face just there. Wow. come back from that. I think that's a good idea. Come and have a beer with some guys we met. Had a good stay at Bunda Cliffs last night, had a few beers, um, not far off from the cliff face. Um, got a little bit cold and a bit wet with the mist sort of rising up over the cliffs. But Yeah, we went inside and felt like all of our clothes were wet. <laughs> but still really nice and then woke up this morning and the sun's out and it's beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. So this is the edge of the Great Australian Bights. And yeah, that way you hit penguins and we're heading that way yeah. towards Western Australia today. And I'll give you a look at the Great Australian Bight, turn it around, I mean at Bunda Cliffs. Have a look. Wow, e Gorgeous. Wasn't as windy as I expected. Hmm? Wasn't as windy. That's no, pretty good. It was windy last night, yeah, yesterday, but it's pretty good now. But even last night it wasn't as windy as I expected, like the no. van wasn't rocking around or anything. It was almost like the wind was hitting the cliff and sort of going over the top of us. Yeah. So it was actually windier, probably a, a K inland, but here it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Beautiful.
from the Nalabo. <laughs> um, so last night, well yesterday, we drove, uh, I think it's about 350 k's from Bunder Cliffs to here. Um, what town was this again? Madura. I Madura. Think yeah. 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 Just um, small town with just like a petrol station and not much else. But we found the uh, camp just up on the hill, so overlooking the plains. Yeah, it looks, it looks like Africa. We got this really good, good spot. I'll put up the name of the camp spot um, when we load it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, free, good spot just to stop. Beautiful view. Only negative is a lot of flies, but... Yeah, a lot is, of March flies, bitey ones. It is March, I guess, so... Yep. Uh, where are we going next? We're going to go to, we're going to try and get to Norseman today. Um, it is going to be five, maybe six, maybe even a bit more than six hours. But we had um, the times change because we crossed the border a couple of times. The times changed, so we're about it's about two and a half hours behind where we left. So, yeah, so we're up got, early. Everyone got up early. The sun was up at like six, I think so. Yep. Everyone was up early, so we're ready to hit the road and, and get going. Yeah, oh. and we're just going to do a big day of driving. And we've also, these flies are getting us even just here. Um, so we've decided we're going to flick doing the golf, and we're just going to drive as far as we can. Yep, we'll get so, to Norseman. Yeah, we'll get there. No golf today. We're going to do schoolwork in the car. The car's a really good time to do schoolwork. So we'll nut, nut some of that out, get to Norseman, and uh, yeah, that's it. Cool.
caravan in a straight line but uh, one tip that I find works is if you see too much of the caravan in one of your mirrors you turn the steering wheel towards that mirror yeah. to, uh, to straighten it up yeah so it's kind of like well I'm I'm gonna knock that mirror or knock the van back into place with my steering wheel with my steering wheel and then the van will come back yeah and, yeah. and to take it slow as well because if you, you start to go too quick going back you uh, can get out of shape pretty quick so just take it slow yeah and then the next thing that they did that I love and has helped so many times on the trip is that they got us to a point where we were almost going to jackknife so that's where the car and the van are about to hit each other and then we found that spot and then they put um, some sticky tape on the van so that when you look into your mirrors you see that point and so as soon as I'm looking in the mirror and the van's just about to get to that point I have to stop because if I go any further we're going to jackknife and that has helped so so many times that was a really good bit of advice yeah. and if you're getting overtaken by an oversized truck just remain a steady pace <laughs> and get over to the left like <laughs> I'm getting overtaken now but yeah all caravan and car combinations are going to have a different point where that happens so you just got to test it out trial and error and then um, get that point and mark it so yep. you know where to get to. Yeah, and we've actually got um, a line on there that illuminates at night, so if you're trying to park at night, you can see it as well. Yeah, they also taught us how to get into a space reversing. So you want to start off turning the wheel pretty much the opposite way you want to go in. Then you get to a certain point and then you, you follow that line in. So we sort of worked it out. It's it's pretty much trial and error because every every time is going to be a bit different. You're not always going to be on a right angle going in, and sometimes there's going to be cars in front of you and trees and all yeah. sorts of things. So it's just just practice. Yeah, and I think one thing that helps us as well is that the person who's driving obviously stays in the car. The other person gets out, assesses the spot first, works out the best direction for the driver to come in from, and then we'll help guide them in that way. They also uh, gave us some tips about when you've got the driver and the person guiding them in, some techniques to use between the two of you. So the technique that they taught us and that I use is if I'm driving, Daniel will go to the back of the van and stand and um, be looking towards the car. And if I need to go to the right, he'll put his hand right saying, you know, you need to move the van to the right. And then I'll go, well, he's saying right, which means I have to turn the car left. So I'll go the opposite of whatever way he's pointing. That's the way I like to do it. Yeah, I found a different way. Um, so I'll get at the front of the car looking back towards the back of the caravan. And if the caravan needs to go to the right, she'll say to the right, and I'll turn the wheel to the right. So she's just looking the other way. So I find that works for me, but um, we've got to a point now where we can sort of do most of it ourselves. But we, it's always, yeah, we don't really need the other person anymore. Yeah, but it's always handy just to have that um, that person out there telling you how far to go. And, and one of the biggest things is just trying to get the level as well, trying to get the caravan level. So if it's not in perfectly straight or it's not in exactly, exactly the right position, I don't think it matters too much as long as it's level. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. So they were some big things that have helped us, uh, but even though we've given these little tips and there's heaps of tips on YouTube, I don't think anything is better than actually going there and having the instructor with you. Yeah. I think another good tip when driving is you get really, you get fatigued a lot quicker towing a caravan because you've got to concentrate more. Yeah. So yeah, it's good to, to stop and change every hour, every two hours, the, the driver, just, oh, just have a rest yourself. Yeah. Just because it's so much more, takes so much more concentra uh, concentration. Yeah, I don't like to tow for more than two hours.
Woohoo! Yes. Yeah. Wow. Let's get out of the car. We're just going to get out yeah. of the car. Stretch the legs. Stretch our legs. Out we get. Oh my gosh. Come on, bud. So, we are in Norseman. So, 1200 kilometers from Sejuna to Norseman. Okay, em, what was your favorite part of the Nullarbor? Um, probably those cliffs. Bunda cliffs? Yeah, Bunda cliffs. Yeah. What about you, buddy? What did you like? Windmills. The windmills. Yeah. yeah? What about you, mate? Uh, probably the pink, pink lake at Lake McDonald. That was pretty awesome. It's yeah. A good stopover. That was definitely my favorite. Yep. Love a pink lake. And that one was just absolutely on fire. Yes. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. On to air sprints. High fives. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> go. Down low. So that was the episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Like, mm -hmm. subscribe. Comment. Like and comment. Share. Tell people about it. Yep. And, uh, and then we'll keep the episodes coming. But uh -huh. if you don't like it, then... We won't keep doing it. Cool. Hope you enjoyed. Yep. Bye. Bye.